Okay, so this is the enterprise account. The enterprise account, again, is for any business that has multiple locations that want to manage them all from one page. Okay, so companies that have 300 locations, they can't have, they can't log in through BizOwner and manage all 300. So what this does is it allows one person to assign all, like a certain number of other people to manage uh, their locations from one account. So right here, this is the corporate login. So one administrator login per company, and then they can assign other users to do specific tasks for specific listings, and they can get their own login. So I'll show you that as we log in. But this is well, it's something that will be set up on the back end where I will put in the administrator's email. We send an email. We do. I do this on the back end. We send an email to them. They come to this page with a temporary, uh, with their email and a temporary password. <clears throat> Once they come in, they can modify the password to whatever they want, okay? So basically, once they log in, this is what they'll see. Okay, so this is, for example, CVS location, which is a convenience store that has thousands of locations in the United States, okay? So basically, on the left here, it shows the overall number of issues. So it tabs, it, it's a it tab, it adds up the reviews, the speed reviews, respond to messages, respond to Q and A, and respond to feed feedback, and puts that total over here for the time frame that is shown on the top right. Okay, generally it should be today. So basically, what this does is. This gives them an overview of where they stand overall on all of their employees handling the reviews, seeing how many disputed reviews they have, and responding to the reviews and seeing which ones actually do a proper job of responding timely and which ones do not. Okay, So if you can see down here, this is very similar to BizOwner. And um, uh, you can see this is just a cumulative total over here okay so let me show you how this works on the uh, over here it says admin view and if you look there's a little settings icon okay so once you click on that you go to a whole new section and in this whole new section you can see how you manage how somebody can manage a thousand locations okay so basically on this is the enterprise site so you saw that there there are different codes that show up on the top left okay when i go back to that page i'll show you so let's say for example you want people to respond to reviews within 10 hours okay and if they don't respond to it that means there's a red alert that means people are not doing their job so you can say i want 10 hours anything not responded to within 10 hours means it should be in red anything not responded to within let's say nine hours is you know it's a concern that means it's close to going into red okay and anything in anything in green means it was done in the proper time frame okay so uh, this kind of lets you the administrator set whatever they feel is the proper thing to do some people say, well, we want to respond, you know, um, to everything within one hour of the close of business. Everything should be cleared out, okay? And if it's not responded to by then, then it's a red alert, okay? So if you say anything not responded to between, let's say, zero hours and three hours. So anything not responded to within three hours will be, before closing, is something that would be in orange. So you can kind of set whatever you feel is right here for your business, the administrator can, okay? You can see overdue, pending, and completed. Okay, so if you go back over here, everything for all the branches shows all these colors, see? Green, orange, red, right? That will all show up here. And it will show you how many cumulatively for all the listings will be um, in green, red, and orange. It'll all show up over here on the left. Okay? And it will also show up over here. 
okay, in this section. So let's just go back to the settings area. Oh, let me click on that again. Your settings. Okay, so I showed you that. Now there are roles. You can create roles. There are different roles here. Let's just edit one. This shows all the different roles that there are. These are all the different things that a user can. Um, these are all the different things that a user can uh, can do um, on the on this section for one business. So they can upload or, or remove a logo. They can modify um, core listing. They can uh, add employees. They can create posts. These are all the things that like a business owner can do. Okay, but you're gonna if the the company here is going to assign employees to respond to these things. Okay, so you may want some people to be able to do certain things and some not to be able to do certain things. So here is where you can set all of that up. Okay, and if you want them to do all, you click all. Okay, if you don't only want one thing, that's all you have to do. So you can add and remove all the different roles here. Okay, the branches, the this all part has to be fixed because you should be able to just type in zip code or city name and all the closest locations should show up here. Okay, um, and you can see there's broken images here, so all of that has to be has to be edited. Okay, you can add new branches and you can delete branches. See, so you can go into here and you can delete a branch if you want to. Okay. Now you can assign new people. You what happens is the administrator will say, okay, I want this person responsible for handling all the reviews for these ten locations. So you put in the person's name. You put in their email address, you put in the role that you just made so that they have all the permissions you want them to have, okay? And then you add it. And let's say you added this John Anderson, okay? Basically, you can edit the person right here. And then basically you can say, see right here, this has to, we have to fix this so that it shows by zip code or by city all the proper locations show up like this is cbsr pharmacy but we have no idea what the address is so all of this stuff has to be kind of modified to make it super simple where i want this person responsible for let's say the texas branch and the wisconsin branch see so you should be able to just type it in these all represent different locations okay so let's say john anderson is responsible for these two locations now let's say sometimes john anderson is sick and if he's sick we need to assign a backup person for that, okay? So we can have to type in who's the backup person. And right now there isn't one, right? If we add another name here, then that person can be considered a backup. And you can assign a backup person. So if he's sick and is not responding, then all of a sudden the other person will get access to managing the locations of the other person, okay? And then you click save, okay? So that is basically how, and then this is how an admin can manage what locations are assigned to what people and the roles that they're responsible for, you know, the roles that those people all have, okay? So now you can kind of see how this is all set up. So the way it happens is I will, on the back end of Wiki Reviews, you know, sign a deal with a large company. I will put in their email address and name. They will get an email with a temporary password. They log in here, and then they can change their password as soon as they log in. Okay? Now, over here, you can see all the notifications and messages and all those things for everything show up here. Okay? And, you know, the desktop notifications and all those things should be enabled as well that work here. Okay? Uh, that work for the other locations. You can see there's also a tour we have, so I recommend you look at the tour. Um, for some reason, this image is not showing up properly. That's because I'm on the wrong page. Let me go to the right page. Here we go. So that's a little bug that we have to fix. Okay. But I recommend you listen to the tour or reading this through this tour. 
so you can understand how this whole thing works. So you click on the colored circles. This is a filter, right? And over here, this shows you how you can manage the platform. Okay. So just take a look at this. You can read the listing wonder guide as well. We have a list view here. So you can see the different locations over here. So if you type it in here, a, you know, like a zip code or city name, then only those should show up over here. Okay. So this should show up for whatever location you click on over here. Okay, but because there aren't any, uh, this branch profile, I think this is um, page not found. Looks like we gotta fix that. So basically this is kind of, this is basically how an enterprise manages multiple locations. And so there's a lot of things we have to fix in here it's all listed in Basecamp, and if you have questions, you can let me know. But basically, this is the gist of how it works. Now, what we can do is I can log out of this. And what I can do is, let's see if I can get a login. Let's see. Yeah, this is the login is Arthur Live. Let's do this. So this is the login for a customer service rep who was assigned a certain number of locations. This is what it would look like, what this, his page would look like, okay? So I don't think we actually assigned the locations, but you can see that there, there aren't all those W uh, Wiki Reviews logos for all the locations in here, right? Because they, they are, haven't been assigned one, but this is like what their login would look like. It's a lot more simplified, right? Over here like this. And whenever they click on a new category, on a new uh, listing, then it changes. So if you go to list view over here, they're not assigned anything right now, so it's not working. But I, I, uh, but I think it does work where you assign a person listings, and then they show up over here, and then the data related to that listing also shows up here. Okay, and then they can manage and respond to reviews and all that stuff from here. You, they can even, we also have to get this, uh, all the call to actions so that whatever call to action they choose to set up their call to action will also show up on the listing. Okay? But that's pretty much how this works. You can see there's a lot of things that have to be modified and fixed and tested to make sure this works properly. Okay? I hope this helps and gives you more insight. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.